Welcome back to my channel Quest for Knowledge. Today we are going to discuss about the accountancy assignment question number 2 that is a case study. So first let's understand the question. Read the following hypothetical text and answer the given questions. Mahesh and Ramesh were partners in hotel business sharing profit and losses in ratio 3 is to 2. They sold food items across the counter and did home delivery too. The initial fixed capital contribution was 1 lakh and 75,000 respectively. At the end of first year, the profit was 1 lakh 10,000. Before allowing the remuneration of 2,000 per quarter to Mahesh and 3,000 per half year to Ramesh, such a huge profit in the very first year and along with increase in the demand for home delivery, encouraged them to expand their business. They needed additional capital to meet the demand. Delivery van, few scooties, and additional person was required to support. Six months later, from the beginning of the accounting year, they decided to admit Usha into partnership and offered her one fifth share in profit along with monthly remuneration of 1500. She was asked to introduce 1,20,000 for capital and 60,000 for goodwill. Beside this, Usha was required to provide 80,000 as loan for two years. Usha readily accepted the offer. The terms of offer were duly accepted and she was admitted as a partner. Remuneration to Mahesh and Ramesh will be transferred to Dash account. So remuneration will be transferred to their remuneration always goes to the capital account. So capital account is the answer. After this, the second question is number question number two. Usha will be entitled to a remuneration of dash at the end of the year. It means Usha is entitled for salary of 1500. So what we need to do is 1500 into 12. So 18,000 she will be getting as her remuneration annually. Let's move on to the question number three, uh, 3. For the loan amount that Usha has provided is entitled to interest thereon at the rate of dash. So there is no partnership deed. As per partnership act, interest will be provided at 6%. So the answer is 6% sorry 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 so Usha is entitled at the rate of 6% and let's move on to the question number 4 upon the admission of Usha the sacrifice for providing her share of profit would be done by Mahesh only, by Ramesh only, by Mahesh and Ramesh equally or by Mahesh and Ramesh in the ratio of 3 is to 2. So the ratio is already given in the question. So the sacrifice will also done according to the ratio. So number D is the answer. Now let's move on to the question number 5. The question number 5. There was no written agreement between the partners. Can Usha claim for interest on capital provided by her to the firm? So when there is no partnership deed, they cannot, they cannot claim for the interest on capital. Just the, is the answer. Why? Because they have no written agreements. So Usha cannot claim for interest on capital. If you found this video helpful, do like, share and subscribe. And do support to my channel and in my next video surely I'll upload the question number 1 and question number 3 uh, for your further need okay. So that is it. Thank you very much for watching.